to God. Listen very carefully. This is so important. And many people usually have hair pulling experiences when they get to the F function. Well, in this F function, I'm going to make it so easy. You're going to want to have an F function every day. Well, just to solve it. Anyways, the F function in this case wants to look at the units column, which is there. We are looking at the code. Based on the code, we will have a different calculation between duration and these three numbers. Remember, cheap, Intel, and uh, peak, Intel, and cheap. There are three. Okay? Now, in this units column, cell E16, use an F function to calculate the units used. And this is the basis of the calculation. I have all these F statements there. I have previously told you to do this using the manual way. This was in previous, the pre-2010, 2007 or 2003. I've shown you how to do this. Well, there is a new and easy way, and we're always looking for new and easy ways around this in um, ICT. Whenever a new feature comes up and we're aware of it, I make it available to you too. Okay, so let's see how I'm going to go with this one. If people are still familiar with it the old way by actually typing the whole thing and they know what they're doing, don't change now if this is going to confuse you. If it isn't, you can go with this one. So I'm going to click. I am in E16, which they had mentioned, with the question mentioned. Click on E16. F of X. Again, I'm going to assume I don't see the F. I'm just going to click on the F. Uh, search for it. It's going to be the first one. Now, you're going to be very careful what I'm doing. Follow me, and I will. Uh, you can replay this to actually see how it works. If the code is C, well, the code is there. If this is equal to C. Okay? Value. If the value is true, I want to multiply the name cell cheap by duration. Well, the name cell cheap is there times duration, which is here. Okay, I think this sounds easy. What happens if it's false? A new trick from Microsoft Office 2010. If I click on inside the value of false, and I move the mouse over to this function, which is the if, and I single click it, watch what happens. It actually opens up a new if statement, and I can actually see it there. So th in this case, there will never be a confusion. I forgot a semicolon, I forgot a comma, I didn't know what I put. There should never be one. Now I'm repeating the process again. I'm going to check if this is equal. What's the next code? It's I. Again, if it's not a number, that means it's text. I have got to put it in these double quotes. The value, if this is true, is I want to multiply that, which is Intel, by the duration again. And I'm working on the same one. Nothing changes. C6, C16, C16. D16, D16. Nothing changes yet. Well, guess what you're going to do here? You click on the last one, and you do one more if, and you get one more. Now, the logical test is that if the code is equal to P, for peak, I typed enter by mistake. I'm just going to click OK and hit f of x, OK, uh, back. I am on the last if. Nothing has gone wrong yet. I hit enter. I, I make mistakes, as I told you before, while I'm using this. I click back on f of x, and it popped up. So that same thing could happen to you, or you can repeat the whole process if you want to. Value if true, if it's p, I want it to be that times duration. And again, it's still the same duration. Well, what happens if, if the code is neither c nor i nor p, then the units sh used should be 0. Click there, put a 0. I don't need any more ifs. Well, you can see the value is p, because it's actually p. And if it is p, I'm going to multiply 321 times 1.6, which comes up to be 513.6. Click OK. I'd repl I'm, I, I was going to do this again, but I'm just going to say replay it if you need to. I go to that mouse, uh, to that cell, to autofill down. And this is the replicating of the function. Done all the way to the end. Works like a charm. OK. I will keep this uh, if statement on its own. So if you need to refer to it back, uh, you can just refer to double check uh, the if statement, which means I will take a break and I will come back to you soon.